A question we sometimes hear involves particle sizing of coarse aggregates. Is it necessary to use a testing screen with its larger capacity, or can I use conventional round test sieves in sieve analysis of larger particle size aggregates? Like many answers, it depends. In reviewing test specifications, ASDM C136 and ASHDO T27 states that you should limit the allowable quantity of material retained on each sieve or tray so all particles have multiple opportunities to reach mesh openings. And ASDM Manual 32 Test Sieving Methods offers a rule of thumb, which is there should be no more than one or two layers of particles remaining on the mesh surface at completion of agitation. As a practical example, let's say you have a coarse aggregate sample with a 50 millimeter particle top size and you want to run it on 8 inch diameter test sieves because that's what's available at the moment. The total mass of the sample would be a minimum of 20 kilograms. The permissible loading for just the top sieve is 3.6 kilograms or about 13 and percent of the total. So it seems like it might work, but it may not be all that easy. If the actual amount retained on the 2 inch sieve is close to the 3.6 kilogram weight limit, that could be too many particles in an inadequate sieving area, where not all the particles are exposed to mesh openings, resulting in poor separations, blinding, and inaccurate test results. Also, there could be clearance issues. With each sieve, there's about two inches of clearance. And if the largest particle themselves are about two inches, then there's not enough vertical clearance to lift and reorient particle off the mesh during agitation. At this point, if you still want to use those eight inch sieves, you still have some options that you are allowed in test specifications. If the frame height of a sieve is too short for the particles to move freely during agitation, or if there are fewer than five full openings in a sieve, you can hand sieve them by manually trying each particle to a sieve opening. Although the test method allows it, this is labor intensive and dramatically reduces accuracy. For samples that overload multiple sieves, you can divide them into two or more roughly equal amounts and sieve each portion. Fraction weights must be combined later for final gradation calculations. That means you're running two or more sieve tests for each gradation, plus splitting samples and performing added calculations. If one or two sieves are overloaded, you can try inserting a larger sieve above to intercept some of those larger particles. Material retained on the larger sieve can then be added to the retained mass of the overloaded sieve when weighing. If the addition of a sieve makes the stack too tall to fit into the sieve shaker, you may have to divide the sample into portions, as noted earlier. So, there are ways to get the job done with traditional round test sieves. But, if you are testing samples like this regularly, the use of a Gilson testing screen, test master, or porta screen with their larger sample volume capacity and larger mesh surface area might be easier and result in more accurate and repeatable test outcomes. For any questions about sieving larger particle size aggregate or for any Gilson product, please contact your Gilson technical support team.